Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to <coughs> give more examples related to graph sketching. And we're going to start off with sketching this graph. And everybody, I'm sure, I'm sure everybody knows that the shape of this function is going to be looking like this. And based on this original function here, you are asked to determine the shapes for these new functions. So based on the construction of these functions, I hope you can see that these new functions are obtained by multiplying the original function with some constant. Okay, so basically, if you want to determine the shapes for the new functions, well, they can be determined by either stretching or shrinking the original graph given here all right so in this example i'm just going to focus on um, two questions here and i think the rest of it you can do it on your own so perhaps i will be showing you guys on how to do this question the first one and maybe the last one okay so let's start off by um drawing the vertical axis and horizontal axis Oof. okay so this is my x and this is my fx so uh, for clarity I think we should properly label and consider the the spacing the coordinates properly so this will be one two three four one two three four okay maybe okay equal distance here yeah? i mean you can do it better okay so maybe the point is going to be somewhere here so okay, I hope I will be able to get a perfect V line. Well, not that bad, will you know? Eh? Okay, so let me just try and do this. Okay, so this is the original function which is uh, described by this. Okay, so I'm just going to um, write down the numbers here 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. This is 1. Two, three, and four. Right, so something like this, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to look at this first question here, which is this one. Okay, so you can see that uh, we have introduced a constant right next to x. So therefore, we should be able to recognize that there will be some sort of change. Um, a horizontal change to be specific so there will be a horizontal change and since uh, the constant is equal to 2 it is not uh, you multiply that with 2 uh, so we know that the graph is going to be horizontally um, com compressed it's going to be horizontally compressed so what it means is you can expect the graph for example this point here to be compressed inside so imagine compressing uh, the lines in from both direction so from this direction and this direction so all the points on the line here will be compressed it will be compressed now at this point zero zero here it will be maintained so this is like uh, an anchor so it's not going to be going anywhere it's going to stay right at this place but the rest of the points here are going to be horizontally compressed so we can expect to have the new uh, graph somewhere here now in order to be uh, uh, correct in the 
presentation of the new graph i think we should also try to get um, one or two points in order for us to in order to guide us to uh, draw the line okay so you can see that um, this is 2x so um, if x is equal to 1 then then f2x is going to be equal to f2 right and and so um, uh, what we have is we will have which is equal to this one so when x is 1 the value of this is going to be equals 2 so um, this is going to be guiding us to where we should draw draw the line so when x is 1 this is going to be equals to 2 so we know that the line is going to be um, somewhere like this okay so this gives us the idea as where the lines are going to be so you see i have managed to obtain the new graph by using the idea of um dilation okay which is in this case compressing the graph and um and we managed to get the correct representation of the line by uh, only substituting one value so that saves us a lot of time yeah so that's it so this is the the shape for this function here all right next um, how about the last one the last question you can see that for this one uh, the new graph here is obtained by multiplying fx with a constant so you multiply a constant right next to y so you will expect to have a horizontal sorry a, a vertical movement so in this case um a vertical change which is uh this graph here the original graph here will be vertically uh compressed so it will be vertically compressed so if you if you imagine applying pressure vertical pressure so it means the pressure is going this direction so the graph here all the points on this original graph here will be uh, coming down okay so so all the point here will be compressed okay we just don't know um, the exact line but we know that the line here is going to be somewhere here but we need to be exact in representation therefore what we can do is we can choose one point to consider for example if if this is a uh, point four let's say if this is at this point so the value of fx is four so the value of this one is the value of fx is four so if you have one over two fx then the new value of this is going to be equal to two so four is going downwards to two so we know that the next line so that we know that the representation of the line is going to be looking like this so there you will be able to get the exact representation of the new function here so similarly if this is four so it's going downwards to two so we know that the graph can be connected like this sort of yeah okay please do it uh, i'm sure you can do it better okay with a proper graph paper and so on so you'll be able to get a proper presentation but this is i think uh, sufficient and i hope you guys get the idea okay all right so the rest of the question here i'm sure you can do it on your own Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.